One of the wide open races on the primary ballot is for a state house seat in Jackson County. Republican Earl Pulaski can't run again because of term limits and five candidates are running to replace him. Fox 47's Rowan Belogan talked with the three of them who are hoping to keep the seat red. For the last few weeks, Gloria Alisford has watched candidates walk up and down West Morrell Street in Jackson. I have to walk my dogs and there's Jarzinka and Griffin and Brooks and uh, Alexander and you name it. Sign after sign. A lot of people running. Each candidate vying for her votes. But since it's a crowded race for the 64th seat, she doesn't know who has her votes. We elect and we elect and uh, like everywhere, promises are made. Some of those candidates making promises to Gloria are three Republicans hoping to keep the seat within the party. I know what people deserve. Jackson County Commissioner Julie Alexander believes her experience working within the county as a teacher and farmer is what Jackson needs as its voice. It's about asking the right questions so that you can continue to make um, wise decisions. I've handled a lot of difficult budget cuts, budget issues. She told me the way she's handled those situations, why Earl Pileski, who currently holds the seats, is supporting her. I wanted to run 20 years ago when my dad was retiring. John Griffin has support from two former representatives, his dad and brother, and that's why he says he's the guy for the job. I thought, you know, state representative and Lansing really, you know, they need some people that know what's going on. And I've got a great reputation, both here and up in Lansing. You know. I think I'll go to work for the people. Businessman Phil Tripp says the seat needs fresh air and that he's the person that will work for the people. If you want to change the world, uh, change your neighborhood. You know, um, I, I know how to make decisions. I know how to, I and mean, we've gone through some tough economic times and we had to make decisions. And I want to take that to Lansing. All three hoping voters like Gloria will send them to Lansing to keep Jackson's coin birthplace of the Republican Party seat red. In Jackson, Rowan Belogan, Fox 47 News. There are two Democrats running for the seat, Peter Bormuth and Ron Brooks. We'll have the results from this race and the rest of the primaries tomorrow night here on Fox 47 News at 10.